Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you um, about these um, charm making because Brooke, uh, hang on a minute, I've just left something. Brooke's been trying, or wants to try and make her own jewellery and I sent her some charms and so um, I'm just going to show, oh I'll use that, so I'm just going to show you close up if I can. Um, how to do them. So what you're going to need is, you do need a pin. hope you can see that. Uh, these pins, you can get them small or large and they've got a flat end. And you'll have to excuse me because like I said, I've been crafting like mad today. So um, you need a flat ended one. You also need those with an eye in it. It's just with a... So you could use ordinary wire and just bend it yourself. Easily done. Um, you're going to need some split pins, split rings, sorry, so that you can uh, adjoin things, some spacers, which I've got a few of, and some beads. And then you could use your bead caps and some little, uh, well, this that's not little, but I have some little ones, which are these uh, claws. So what I'm going to do now is you take, you start off uh, for the bottom of your charm. I'm making a charm. So you start off at the bottom with a flat pin. To that you need to add um, your first bead. I'm just trying to see which one. I'm going to do this one. I like these. They're nice. Like that. And then to that you're going to add, um, sorry, your spacer like that, not the spacer, haven't even got a spacer on it, put your spacer on, you don't have to do that but you can do, then I'm going to add the bead cap um, and then I'm going to, because this is cat's eye, I'm also going to add a cat's eye bead and then another uh, bead cap, like that so you've got that. I'm going to add another bead on the uh, bead cap the opposite way and to that I'm going to add one of these glass beads and again another bead cap. Now I don't think I'm going to get much more on there so what you do is you take your round ended pliers and you start at the tip and you curl once so you've got like a hook. Then take your pliers again and don't start at the top, start on the side and curl that down. So you've made a loop like that. And you can put that down for a minute while you make your next one. The next one is going to join that one so you want the one with the eye. And all you need to do, slowly, just open that, attach that and then close that one back up. Make sure it's nice and tight and it doesn't come off. Doesn't matter if they bend these because you bend them back. So you've got that then. And then you can start and do the next one. So what I'm going to put on the next is a round bead. So I want a bead cap. Nice glass bead and a bead cap again. Now I'm going to put a spacer in. My hands, my hands are absolutely blathered because all the clean, not cleaning, all the sorting and things and things that, boxes that were dusty and I'm thinking, because I don't go in them that often. <laughs> it's just, oh, what a nightmare trying to change this room around today. Anyway, so we've got that so far. Uh, and then what I'm going to put on is one of these long ones. But this already has a wire in it, so I'm going to take that wire out and grab hold of it. Fidgy little thing. Pull it out. You should be prepared, like, but not me. <laughs> so, like I say, I'm just popping that one on straight away like that. And I've just got enough room to bend that using the round 
ones again. Just bend it over like a hook and then continue to bend it. And you can always just grip them in if it's sticking out. And you've made your hook again. Okay? I hope you can see this because I can't see what I'm filming. Two minutes left. Take your split ring, put that through the end, take your claw. Oops. I mean, none of these. I've got silver and oh, uh, vintage here because I haven't got any other ones. I need to get a stock in. Close that back up. Like that. Just close them up. And there you've got your charm. Like that. And that's all you do, Brooke. Not quite pretty, that one. Like the genuine gemstones. So, I'm going to do another one for you before they, it runs out. Right, I've taken another flat bead, uh, flat pin. I've put a little spare, um, bead cap on. Put the big round bead cap uh, bead on, then the bead cap, then a spacer, another bead cap, and to that I was going to add one of these. I think I'll do this colour. These are gorgeous crystal ones. These. <coughs> I'm going to put another spacer on. I can grab hold of one. Like that, a little bead cap. Add my bead, another bead cap. Oops. And you just take them up as far as you can. I'll probably get one more bead on that, so I'm going to do the bead cap, uh, the bead spacer. Yeah, like that. And then take your pliers again. I might get something else on there, actually. Let me just see if I can get a smaller bead. Oh, there we go. A little glass bead, that's fine. And then just bend it round once, pull your pliers back to make it into a loop. Like that. So you've got that one. And that you're going to attach your wire, to, uh, your uh, split ring to that now anyway. Uh, sorry, not that one. We're doing this one, aren't we? Oh, come on, woman, wake up. <laughs> Unhook the eye. Pop that on. And bend that back. Making sure that it's shut. just bend this back into shape, not quite into shape. Oops. Sometimes it's going to be a bit fidgety, but I just want to make sure that that is holding. Yep. There we go. And again, like you say, to that, I'm going to do a large bead cap. Uh, I'm going to put one of these beads on next. Oh wait, I've got one here. Because they don't have to be, you know, they don't have to descend in, or, um, in any way, shape or form. Uh, you just do it how you want it. You can mix and match the sizes. I mean, look, that looks pretty. So then I'm going to put a spacer on. Like that smaller bead cap and I can grab hold of one hmm. I've got a little uh, I'm going to match that bead up there with another bead cap another spacer I don't think that one will fit, but I'll take a smaller one of those. And we can find it, little brown bead. Yeah, and I'll probably take the spacer off because there wasn't enough room. Put the bead back on, and then I'm just going to bend that over. Bend it once, bring your pliers back, and just twist your wires round. 
hook it on and fasten that in like that. And then take your split ring and you can get these in different sizes. Pop that on there and then pop your little hook on. I'm going to use a big hook for this one I think. And then you just bend them back in. Like that. I like to just overlap them slightly. Like that. And bend that in. And there you go. You've got another charm. And you make them as short or as long as you like. So what time are we on? Let me just see if I can do um, another one. I need the flat pin. Here we are. I'll make a short one because you can have short ones. They look nice on a, a mini page and that. Uh, what I'm going to do is straight on with the oops, big bead on the bottom. And I'm going to do big bead cap. Oops, now that bead is too small. We need another one somewhere. There's one. Pop that on. Big bead cap. Spacer. Oops, a daisy. Like that. And then I'm going to put this bead. Oh, bead cap. Get a smaller bead cap. Bead small bead cap. I might just get away with a, a oh, I'll do a little bead. Do a little bead. That's it, that'll do. And then we just twist that over. On the end, hook once, swing round, hook again. Take hold of the space at uh, the split ring when I can find the thingy of it. When I can find it, pop that on there, get a little hook, and then just join that up. And there you go, you've got a short one. Okay, and that's how you do them, Brooke like that. So I hope that helps you sweetheart. Please excuse my hands but I have been crafting like mad and as well as tidying. Uh, the one thing I didn't do, I didn't put any of these on but you can do. You can put butterflies in between wherever you want them. So I do apologise for that but there you go. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.